uh, in the way of uh, sandwich foods or even main meals can be served. They, what you do get is good value for your money. And um, in addition, among the normal liquids, uh, so which I believe may even include coke, though not, I am happy to say, any more, a peculiarly revolting liquid known as Schlitz, uh, <laughs> which used to be an American beer. <laughs> well, the Americans, and I include you among that lot, the Americans do not know how to brew beer. <laughs> Still less do they understand how properly brewed beer should be served and drunk. They believe in a pale, fizzy, bubbling liquid served at a below temperature of absolute freezing. And this is not a refreshing drink. It is one which numbs the interior of your mouth, and quite rightly too, because if it had not been so, then you would discover how peculiarly tasteless <laughs> such, such things are. No, what you need, and what I suggest you try, is good English ale. Real ale, brewed from hops which have fermented with the beer and the barley and the constituents healthy nourishment beer is food and drink but you may need the odd sausage to go with it or something anyway the inns and pubs of england offer a great variety of history and as well as refreshment and of course for those of you who prefer they do serve soft drinks and coffee and tea and all that as well so a wide variety there are also various uh, inns, uh, cafes, restaurants, shack bars and the like although this being Sunday uh, not so many of them may be open as you uh, get during the day but there is enough usually So you will spread around the centre of Gloucester, which is, roughly speaking, where we shall be. The crossroads at the centre of this Roman town uh, are just about a couple of hundred yards away from where we are at the cathedral. So that basically is what we shall be doing in the early part of our visit, and then we shall leave Gloucester and then go a little further on to Berkeley Castle.